What is up, my dudes? Jesse Mails here with Backwater Fly Fishing, chilling here at the guide house. We got a hosted trip the next three days with Court and Brandon here. We're gonna be fishing a ton of great water. We're gonna be doing some night fishing and some day fishing. I've advertised this trip for a while, and we're super, super pumped to be here and get it rolling. Um, I'm here early. We're having a few beers, and we're gonna be tying some flies. So we're thinking some white colored bait fish flies that are gonna land soft and kind of sink a little slow that we could add action to. So we want a lot of mobility with a fly like that. We're gonna be using craft fur, some marabou, some dubbing, just to tie a generic bait fish fly that can be fished for snook, tarpon, redfish, sea trout, anything inshore. And we'll get started. This isn't gonna be a typical video where it's all chopped up and edited. We're just gonna do a straight shot here. This is a one knot SC15, a great light hook. So when you're tying a light fly like this, this is a hook that's going to keep it up in the water column and not pull the fly down. So, I'm going to lay some thread on here. And I'm super pumped to fish this area. I just fished a few days ago up in Crystal River. Did really well with my brother. And from what the weather's looking like, I'm pretty sure we're going to get into some fish the next few days here. Um, whether it's at night or during the day. So we're pretty, pretty pumped. First thing on this fly is gonna be a craft fur tail. We'll throw down a little bit of white and then come back and put some gray on top. And we're right by the road here, so if you're hearing cars and stuff, don't worry about it. There we go, a little pinch of white craft fur, just like that. And with craft fur, guys, you know, it's gonna come in a sheet like this. What I like to do is cut out sections of the actual mat. That way you could have a better idea how much fur you're getting on each cut. So it'll come off in a clump like this. And then all you gotta do is hold it, trim that part off, and then you could pull out the guard fibers and the longer fibers. And that's gonna give you a lot better pinch to put on the fly. So just like that. There we go, we got some white, some gray. And at this point, we'll throw down pretty much a strand crystal flash. And I just tie it right on top, no need to go on the sides. That, that'll lay down and here we're actually gonna put a clump of marabou and I'm just gonna do pretty much the tip of one of these plumes we'll put it on and just with our fingers push it around the shank of the hook so those fibers are sort of spread out tie that down it off and then we'll cover up some of these fibers here just like that and this is some dubbing from fly fish food super good dubbing and we just want to build up a little head on here and then we'll throw some eyes down on it so just take a little dubbing and I like to tie dubbing in pinches so we'll just put it in pinch fold it back lay another one down and we'll do pretty much two on top and two on the bottom for this. So we just got that one on the top, we'll flip over. When you tie on the bottom, you want to tie it in and put a clump on each side of the hook. That way it's not going directly back into the point of the hook. We're already looking like we got a pretty good bait fish profile. Add one more clump to the front. Try and come up towards the eye of the hook on that. Pinch it off, pull it back. And our eyes are gonna kinda cover up this little bit of thread there. And another little pinch of dubbing. Put it on the bottom. Just like that. So you can see how great of a bait fish profile that is. Gonna whip finish here. Just like 
like that. And we got some Super Pearl Eyes. You guys saw me talk about these here recently. And if you want, you could pick some of this dubbing out just to make sure it's all gonna lay right. It's always a good idea before we stick our eyes on. Grab one of these eyes, some glue. Got to open the glue first. There we go. One eye on. Just like that. And then we'll cover these threads like we always do. Some loon. Zap it. And that's it. Just like that, we got a really great bait fish fly that's gonna land soft and it's definitely gonna fish well.